um, as CL said, we came from New Zealand, and um, I came to Taiwan the first time last year. I was invited to the GovZero Summit, and um, it's one of the really exciting things about being part of Lumio and part of Inspiral, is we get to connect with all the amazing people around the world doing amazing stuff. And last year when I was in Taiwan, I, I, I've just never seen anything like this anywhere in the world, this open, collaborative, fun, swarming community that's upgrading democracy. It's really inspirational to us back home. So I was very glad to have a chance to stop back in on our way home from Korea. Um, I'm hoping that CL is gonna do a lightning talk about what happened in Korea last week, because it was amazing. Um, there's another community that's just forming that's a bit like this, and a bit like the one that I come from. So I'm hoping that we can all make friends. Um, yeah, I wanted to just talk about Inspiral. Um, it's super amazing and awesome, and I love it, but it's very confusing. Uh, so I'm gonna try and explain it. I'm gonna try and speak clearly and slowly, and if I don't, please go like this, and I'll try and slow down. I just get very excited. So, the only important thing about Inspiral is this idea of the mission. More people working on stuff that matters. So, the important bit is we're working. This is my job. Um, we've figured out, we're figuring out how to, how to make a job out of stuff that matters instead of spending all my time working on a job that doesn't matter. Um, and everyone, everyone gets to choose what matters to them. No one, no one gets to tell you what matters to you. You figure out what matters to you and then you work on that. So, um, I met the I met the founder last year, Joshua Bile. Oh, not last year. Sorry, big better. That's better. I met the founder, uh, Joshua Bile, four years ago, and in that first conversation, he said. Um, he had this idea, he's a businessman, and I, as an activist, didn't have much experience with business people. And he said, you know, I just think most business is based on stealing. It's based on taking more value from society than you're producing, and that problem is killing the planet. And Inspiral is for businesses that produce more value to society than they consume. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've done this talk, so it's a bit, you know, these things will happen. So we're a community, um, there's about 300 people in this community, and we're building social enterprises to hopefully leave the world in a better state than what we found it. So... There we go. We've got some nice pictures recently, I really like them. So we're a non-hierarchical network, um, which means we don't have a boss. It means um, if you're affected by a decision, then you can participate in it if you want to. Um, and we're learning together how, how can you work without having a boss, how can you be coordinated, how can you get stuff done um, and still be inclusive, how can you be inclusive and effective at the same time. Um, we're learning it, we're figuring it out together, and as we figure it out, we're hoping to share it with other people because we think it's pretty cool. Um, and a, a core part of how we do that is this thing called Lumio, which is a, a platform that Ben's going to talk a little about, um, and it's the platform that Hannah and James over there are uh, developing, and Ben and I get to go around talking about the work that they do. So in the middle of the Inspiral network is the foundation, that's the thing at the top. And everyone that's in the Inspiral network contributes voluntarily, they contribute either their time or their money or their skills, their connections, you know, resources of any kind um, to the collective. And the idea is that we, we share our resources so that we're collectively stronger and we look after each other that way. And we think that we can have more impact, more positive impact if we work together than if we work completely on our own. We're highly autonomous, but we're also highly connected. So every everyone in the network, lots of, we've got lots of freelancers, software developers, um, designers and so on. Everyone chooses how much of their income they want to share with the collective. So 
if you are broke and you've got no money, you can share zero dollars and that's fine. If you're earning really well, you're a software developer that's in high demand, maybe you might share up to 20% of your income. Um, and when your money goes in, it goes into this thing called co-budget, which is another tool that we're working on. And we collectively decide how we're going to spend that money. So it's, it functions like, a, um, like an internal crowdfunding system. So anyone in the network can propose a project that they want to run. And then we use our collective money to fund those projects. So a couple of months ago, we funded one of our members to go over to a conference in the United States to talk about the work that she's doing. Or um, last week, someone opened a fund for counseling. So can we raise some money so that people that need counseling but can't afford it can go get the counselor for free? Um, I, I raised a fund recently for the Fairy Blog Mother. And it's, um, if you write blog stories, I come around to your house and give you $100. So this is like an internal economy, and um, the result of that internal economy, because we're working together and because we're sharing jobs and, and sharing projects, our connections that we've got get stronger and stronger all the time. So in the network, um, people can participate at different levels. Some people are extremely committed, some people are new and they're just figuring it out. So at the first level, um, we have the, the contributors. So a contributor is, is someone that's contributing, someone that's helping in some way. So they might be working on a project, they might be getting paid, they might not be, but they're doing something useful and valuable. Um, so all of those people, and there's nearly 300 of them, they all participate in the, in the clique of decision making, they can all propose projects, um, they can all start stuff and get funded to do stuff. And then in the middle we have the, the really committed people, and we call them members. So. Um, usually after you've been around the network for a while and you understand what's going on and, and how we function, then you, then you are invited to become a member. And a member is a, a legal shareholder. It's a, each of us members owns one share of the Inspiral Foundation, which is a kind of a, a, it's a legal, it's a company, but we, we don't use it for making money, we just use it to, um, to kind of hold the money and, and, and be the legal vehicle for doing the work that we do. Um, and at the moment there's, I think, 43 members and together we are, our job is to hold the culture and hold the values because we've obviously got a very peculiar culture that's different from most other workplaces and so it's, it's sort of up to all of us people to, to maintain that and, and keep it strong as we bring new people in. So one of the ways that we uh, maximize that imp impact is to have many, many spaces for collaboration. So we have um, a co-working space, which it's not on here, but we also have a, a campus. We're, we're training hundreds of new developers. Um, so we've got this new campus, which is a really awesome collaboration space. Um, and, and really importantly, we have the Inspiral Retreat. So every six months, we go away together, we get out of the city for three or four days, and we just spend time with each other and we, we get to know what everyone's working on, we meet new people, we meet old people, um, and through that, through that six monthly time away together, like the camp that we just went on, um, that's where we actually start to care for each other as people, not just as, as workmates and colleagues, but as, as, as full humans. So obviously we can't get people into the space all the time, the space isn't big enough for 300 people, and we're only at the retreat every six months, so we have online spaces for collaboration as well. So Lumio is obviously one of them. I've mentioned co-budget. We've also got a thing called Mind Spiral, which is a really like crazy homemade bank. That means we can have 300 people operating one bank account, um, and it's legal, which is surprising. It took a bit of work, but it worked. Um, <laughs> and we're we're developing more tools all the time and the processes that go with those tools and um, the job at the moment is to open source those for, for other people to use. So the, I guess this is like the, the history, the, the sequence of events. So five years ago, uh, Inspiral was one person, that dot there is, is Joshua Weil. He now calls himself the ex-founder because he's quit being the founder. Um, he, he just started telling a very inspirational story and people got attracted to that story. Um, and then they got to work. So that's the second stage, is all the people coming in with enthusiasm, those arrows represent enthusiasm. And um, mostly at the start it was, it was technical people, it was developers and designers. Um, 
working as freelancers on short contracts. Um, and as, as it grew, those freelance contractors started to form teams, and then some of those teams formed into companies. So that third stage that we entered into a couple of years ago was the company stage, where each each little team has its own little it has its own independence. So Lumio is a totally independent company of, of Inspiral, but it still lives inside the network. Um, and as we've gone through this this phase, the work that we're doing in each of those companies is getting more and more diverse. So one of the first ones is Rabbit. Rabbit's a software development company. It's really straight software development, and um, it's it's sort of grown to the size where it can handle big you know government contracts and enterprise contracts. Um, We've got the Inspiral Developer Academy, which I mentioned, which is a, a, a boot camp where we train programmers, uh, specifically, especially people that are underrepresented in the, in the programming community, so um, people of different genders or ethnicities than are typically represented in the programming. Um, another one, totally different, um, Action Station, it's an online, it's a platform for online and offline organizing and activism, so um, it's a lot like change.org, so they run um, campaigns, but it also has the offline component. So when you participate in an online campaign, if you're really committed, then they'll invite you into doing offline organizing, forming working groups, uh, taking actions on those issues that you care about. Um, there's also Scoop. Scoop's the largest uh, independent news source in New Zealand. They've recently joined in Spiral. Um, there's Lifehack, which is a, they run innovation programs in collaboration with the government. So we're just getting like, more and more different kinds of things going on, all under that banner of stuff that matters, because what matters to people is very different. So, um, yeah, we're a bunch of like quite crazy radicals, but we use language like innovation and collaboration, and um, people like people in the government and traditional institutions don't get scared of us when we talk that way. Um, and so now we're in this last phase, which is, as I said, we've got up to like 300 people. And I don't, we're, we're still growing, and I don't know how big we can get beyond that 300 people because so much of this relies on the trust and the relationships and knowing everyone around you. And it's, it's hard to do that beyond 300 people. So we're, we're really focused now on open sourcing everything. Like the software is all open source already, but the, the actual practicalities of how you run a massive distributed community of companies and freelancers without having a boss successfully. That's really hard stuff, and so we're now in the process of trying to explain that to people and supporting other communities um, with what we know about and learning from those communities um, what they know about. So we're um, yeah we're very very keen to make friends with the other networks, and very top of my list is is Gov Zero. So if you'll have if you'll have us, I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> That's all I got. <笑>一句話summarize,都沒有其實是附身在裡面的一個有點震驚的工具 <笑> Well, you, you are as far as what I say <笑> So, uh, 那我們來歡迎這個Ben Ma 